Hello guys, welcome. My name is Mateus Geraldi. I am doctor in civil engineering and I am making these short videos to show you how can we use Energy Plus. The idea behind these short videos is to start with, with a very simple simulation model and adding features step by step until you get a whole building simulation model. Okay, so let's start. First thing you want to do is to go to Google and type Energy Plus. And if you access the first website, this is the official website for Energy Plus. And here you can find a lot of information of Energy Plus and who, oops, who develops it and who is behind Energy Plus. And I recommend you to go to uh, your superior menu here and click on documentation. I want to show you that Energy Plus has a lot of support behind it. Uh, so this documentation, there are some guides, some manuals and some references. For example, the most important one, in my opinion, is the engineering reference. If you click it, you're going to open a very large PDF file with a lot of descriptions of all processes that runs behind Energy Plus. OK, so if you have some questions, some downs, some concerns, you will find answers here. Always remember that you can consult engineering references and also input and output reference. This is a really good one. It's a description of all inputs and outputs presented and, and it's possible to use in Energy Plus. OK, so to get started, let's go to download and you can download the latest release of Energy Plus here, download it according to your operational system. But also you can access other releases, more ancient, more older. You can also notice that you can have different versions of Energy Plus installed in your machine. So if you download the latest release, you can install it's pretty straightforward. And when you install, you're going to find that Energy Plus is going to be installed in C partition of your of your computer, you can you can see that I have four versions of Energy Plus installed. And let's explore the folder of Energy Plus uh, 23.1.2. So in Energy Plus folder, you have this folder called Datasets, which is a collection of datasets of different systems that you can use ex examples. Also, you can go to documentation folder, which has the same contents, contents that we, we see on the website. And you can go to example files. This folder called example files is very useful and it has a lot of examples of several types of systems and already really decent uh, building models that you can use as examples. So if you want to, to model a system that you are not sure how to do it, you can consult example files. It's really good source of information. Okay, so what we want is to access uh, in the root folder of Energy Plus, you can access EP Launch. Okay, this EP Lounge here, this is actually an, an app. Okay, if you double click it, this window will probably are going to pop up in your screen. And this EP Lounge is actually an interface to access Energy Plus. So Energy Plus is actually an engine. Okay, it's not a software, it's an engine to run simulations. And EP Lounge, which, which is this app, is uh, interface, uh, user interface, to access an IDF. An IDF is an input data file. So IDF is like the standard file for Energy Plus. And let's, if you you can you can click in Browse here and find your IDF, and you can edit this IDF in two ways. First is uh, using a text editor. So Every IDF is actually a text edit, ed, text file. So you can edit by using like uh, text language. 
Okay, but there is also the IDF editor, which is a very useful interface. Not so user friendly, but it's very useful. For example, if you open, there is like this is the 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 appearance of the IDF editor, and here in this menu you can find all classes of objects that is possible to exist in NH Plus model. So this is the basic uh, logic of NH Plus IDF editor. <clears throat> For example, if you have like let's click on building here, this is the class we we say it, we say this is a class and in inside of this class there is one object that describes our building and for this object there is some features some attributes describing this building so this building has a name and the name of this building is building name something like this so for each class of objects, there is objects inside of it. For example, there is this other object called side location. So inside a side location, there is one object that describes what is the location of this model. And the attributes of this object are name. So this is the location of the name of this location, okay, of this simulation model, the latitude, the longitude, the time zone, and the elevation. So this is are the characteristics these are the characteristics that describes our beauty location okay one tip here is to press ctrl l so i'm going to press in my keyboard ctrl l so what this command does is to shrink all unused objects so energy plus will only uh, displace the objects that are going to be are, are being used in my simulation model. So if I don't have any object in a certain class, it won't show you. So this is very useful because we can have like a more uh, simple model, okay? But we're going to go that later. Let's close it, not save it. And basically you will need two things to run a simulation. One thing is your IDF file, so your building model, and the other thing is your weather file. So the weather file is a standard and uh, a standard way to represent the weather of where your building is inserted. So okay, so where you get weather files, you can go back to Google. If you go back to Google and Google climate one building you're going to find this website this is a very good source of weather files and information in general for building simulation and let's download a weather file for germany so I'll go to europe and germany and here we have a lot of weather files for germany and i'm going to press ctrl f to find stuttgart so here I have five weather files for Stuttgart, okay? And I'm going to download it, this one, which is the latest one, 2007 to 2021. And when I download it, I can go to downloads and again extract this zip file. And what I'm going to find is something like this, a folder with several files. What is important to, for us for running simulation is this first one, EPW file. EPW stands for Energy Plus Weather File. This is also a text-based file, okay? So we can actually open using Excel. Uh, so a really straightforward way to open it is to click, hold, and drag to here inside and. Excel and Excel will understand this format and my Excel aggregate everything in the first column so I have to select and to process this text to columns okay comma separated and finish okay so this is the overview of a weather file weather file has in the first column the year 
the second column, the month, the third column, the day, and the fourth column, the hours. So we have information, we have climatic information for every hour for an entire year for a specific location. Which information, for example, this column means the temperature, this other column means the dew point temperature, this third column is the humidity, uh, relative humidity, and so on. Okay, there is a lot of columns here, and you can find online what each column means. So basically, there is uh, a lot of registers, one for each hour of the year, and Energy Plus will use this hourly information to run a simulation for the entire year. Okay, so this is it.